Wizard skating can be pretty intimidating when you're just starting out. If you're trying to figure it out by yourself, you may not know where to start. It might seem overwhelming, but in reality, most of the tricks are based on a few core moves. I'm going to go over six basic tricks and show you the building blocks you'll need to start exploring this style of skating. The fakie gazelle is a good one to start with since you have both feet down for balance and control. Starting off fakie, use your shoulders to begin the rotation, then your hips and knees to complete the rotation. Notice how the knees soften at the apex of the turn, then push down through the exit. Upper body positioning is key in wizard skating. When you commit to turning with your upper body, your skates will naturally want to follow. Here's a closer view of the skates showing the path they follow, the lean angle, and where weight and pressure are applied. Begin the turn by leaning on the edge of your wheels, shift pressure to your third wheels to pivot forward, and exit on the opposite edge. Your skates will draw a three shape on the ground when you do the move successfully. This three shape is super important and occurs in all the moves I'm going over, so practice getting familiar with the motion. The forward gazelle requires more pressure under your toes, but should feel similar to the fakie version. Keep your weight to the inside of the turn and lead the rotation with your shoulders. Shift weight between your feet as you swing your hips around, then push down through your toes to pump out of the turn. Most of your weight transfers from inside foot to inside foot during the pivot, and pressure shifts from heel to toe. Try to keep your feet paired close together so that they follow a similar path. Now the one foot variations. A note on naming here, I'm taking a similar approach to figure skating by calling out which edge the turn begins and ends on. At the start of the turn, open up your body to the inside, leaning on the inside edge of your wheels. Swing your free leg around to pivot, keeping it extended as you exit on the outside edge. Pressure shifts from heel to toe at the apex of the turn. Keep your grounded leg relatively stiff throughout the turn and picture your free leg making a smooth orbit around it. You should feel how its momentum influences the pivot as you transfer from inside to outside edge. This one also requires a stiff grounded leg with most of the action happening at the hips. Lean forward over your grounded foot to start the turn using your other leg to balance. Bring that leg forward while turning your hips to rotate, then keep the free leg up for balance while rolling away. Lean into that outside edge at the start of the turn with pressure under your heel, then rotate those hips and shift your weight to be more upright during the pivot. Exit the turn on your inside edge, bending at the hips and extending the free leg to absorb some of the rotation from your body. The one foot fakie variations are the hardest in my opinion because they're blind turns and you really have to trust your feet. Start slow at these ones. Rolling fakie, lean back and push hard on the inside edge of your wheels to carve into the turn. Swing your free leg around and transfer onto the outside edge of your wheels. Starting out, focus on carving hard on that inside edge to make a tight turn. Lifting your leg up and over your grounded skate helps initiate the pivot. You should feel your grounded skate pause at the apex, then your body weight flow over that skate to complete the turn. Finally, the fakie outside in. It's a good idea to get really comfortable with the fakie gazelle before practicing this one. Lean into the turn while opening up your grounded foot and committing your upper body to the spin. Retract your leg, then kick it out in front of you to help you pivot. See how open that grounded foot becomes as it approaches the apex. Your body will be almost fully turned around before your skate turns. Apply pressure under your heel, turn your hips, and flex your knee at the apex while kicking your free leg out to rotate forward. Once you have the fundamentals down, you can experiment with ways to link these moves together and start creating your own style of wizard skating. A few tips and reminders for beginners. 
break in those wheels. Trying wizard moves with brand new wheels will be challenging, so give them a few sessions to wear down a bit. Find a smooth, flat surface to practice on. Pivots will be much more forgiving. Learn on your dominant leg first. Get the motions down on one leg before trying them with the other. Film yourself and review the progress. Watching yourself will help you visualize your tricks and pinpoint what you need to work on. Embrace the difficulty curve. Don't expect to master everything in a few sessions. Frustration is a part of the process, but try to be generous with yourself and focus on the fun parts of learning a new skill. If you find yourself getting angry or losing focus, it's totally fine to step away and come back to it in a day or two. Thanks for watching and have fun out there.